Okay, I've been excited to tell someone about this trick for a while, but I didn't want to share it publicly because it might be misconstrued as people thinking that I'm trying to take money out of Renewed Vision's pocket, and I'm not. I This is just a trick that could save you money and make it to where you could do something that there's no way you could do before. So this isn't the perfect solution, but it is a solution for faking the Alpha Key module. So here we are on Renewed Vision store page, and I've gone ahead and added the stuff that you would need. This is the more expensive setup if you have Thunderbolt 2 on your computer. Um, it'll be $2,032, including the module, the hardware, and the cable. So... 2032. What I'm getting ready to show you is going to knock that down by $1,654, which is nothing to sneeze at. It's something that could save you some money. So let me, um, by the way, if you have a newer Mac, like if I was doing this with my Mac and I was using the Alpha Key module, this is the way that I would do it because I've got Thunderbolt 3 slash USB-C and it's uh, $1,524. So it doesn't knock off nearly as much because I didn't start with needing this big a sum. But if, if I did uh, do it this way, this is how much it would cost me. So those are your two starting points, either 2032 or 1524. So let's go into ProPresenter and let me show you um, how to do this. So this is the normal way that most people do it. Uh, first thing you should know is I've already gone in and I've enabled the uh, all the modules. So we're going to go into Preferences. And you might already know what I'm going to do. Um, so first I'm going to click on full screen because I have my Matrox dual head to go connected. That's one thing that you'll need. Is you'll need at least a dual head to go. And if you're already using the multi-screen module for something else, this won't work. But if you're not, this is the way to go. So go in here and you'll need the multi-screen module. So but that is a lot less money than the $1,000 that the Alpha Key module is. And let me show you why this works before I show you how to do it. So if we go in here to Photoshop, this is the graphic that I've just created for the live streaming for ProPresenter course. And here in Photoshop, Alpha Key really isn't anything magical. It's not like you need a special signal type. You just need two different video signals at the same time. So to illustrate that, I've added this uh, mask layer. And in Photoshop, once you add a mask and you're ready to do that, anything that's black that you paint over becomes transparent. So you'll notice the background here is transparent now. That's what this little checkerboard pattern means. But the foreground, the letters, are not transparent. And that's because I'm over here painting with black. Now if I paint with white, then it shows back up. We're going to simulate that with video. Oh, and I should also tell you that black and white aren't the only colors here. So I could do gray and get like a translucent effect. So um, let's um, cancel. I want to look at the color libraries and let's just pick out that gray. So if I paint with the gray, 
will be somewhat translucent. That was a really dark gray, so it's a bad example. But you get what I'm saying. So, back in ProPresenter, how do we get two video signals out of ProPresenter at the same time? Multi-screen module is a way to do that. But you have to set it up just right. So, we're going to go back into <coughs> Preferences and... Um, need to demo the module. I forgot that I restarted ProPresenter. Then uh, we're going to go into the multi-screen module and I have set up two templates for you. Um, two layouts rather. So uh, let's start with going into dual screen and I'm going to choose the fake alpha setting. And what I've done here is I've got two different templates that are very similar and in the one on the right here, I don't have the backgrounds. That's important. So let me show you the difference between these two templates, the one on the regular screen and the one on this screen. Remember, this has a background. This one doesn't. So if we go into here, in the preview, you'll see that I've chosen just one of these sample backgrounds. I could have chosen this one, by the way. It really doesn't matter. And now I can send this to my regular screen. And they'll see a full screen. But if I send to a video switcher, this is the foreground and this is the fill layer, then they'll see no background. And then I can put live video underneath it or whatever I want to underneath it. So that's why you would do that. So let me show you these templates. I'm going to go into the template editor. I have fake alpha, edit template group. So basically I have these two templates. Did you see the difference between those? Basically, if I click on this, this one has regular font, regular outline, which is a contrasting color. I've got a white font here and a black outline. This one is the fill font uh, template, and it has a white outline. So if we remember back from our Photoshop example, white you can see, black you can't. So despite the fact that this one over here, um, and let me clear the background just so that that's not as annoying. Um, this one over here has a black outline on the text, which will show up on this one when we run it through a video switcher with this one as a fill. This is actually this one right here. So that's why I have two templates that are almost identical. It's just that the outline is white so that I could see it. The outline could be gray if I wanted and then if I had the outline as gray it would be translucent. With it white, it's perfectly opaque. With it black, it's transparent. So that's how that works. So I've gone ahead and um, I've made two different ones. By the way, Esther 8-9 is the longest verse in the Bible. So that's why I chose that one, just to show you how this would work. So I could send this to a screen and have... A background from ProPresenter. Send this as um, the main layer to my video switcher and this is the fill to my video switcher and then I would get white text with the black outline on a transparent background. Now if I wanted to go to uh, just a full screen. I could do that in the video switcher by just selecting this with the key off or 
I've also got over here I've set up another one where the layout is basically the same on both of these so this doesn't have any fill or anything like that so I have that as a possibility and I can change that on a per slide basis in ProPresenter 6 and I'm assuming later as I'm recording this Pro 7 isn't out yet so that's how to fake the alpha key module in ProPresenter and save you some money just to show you for the sake of uh, comparison $378 to do it with the multi-screen module versus $2,032 or $1,524 as I say saving you up to $1,654 so a good bit of savings you just paid for this course and uh, if you're a member of Church Tech U, you've just paid for Church Tech U. So there you go. That's how to do that. And it won't work in all situations. Like if you've already got the multi-screen module, you would have to get another computer and another operator and stuff like that. So it wouldn't necessarily work for you. But if not, you have just saved your church. $1,600 just by doing this trick.